Yep. Okay, hi. Uh, my name is Jeff Harold. I'm with the Lake County Art League. And I've got uh, two young artists here that we're going to interview. They were both uh, winners of scholarships that the Lake County Art League awards uh, every year for CLC students. That's College of Lake County. And so I'm going to let them introduce themselves here real quick. Uh, uh, let's start with Naya Kokenbrood. Hi, I'm Naya, Naya Kokenbrood. Okay. Yeah, uh, just, you were close. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, just tell us a little bit about yourself, how long you've been doing art, and uh, anything you have a great interest in as far as what you're going to be doing with it. Yeah, so I've pretty much been doing art for pretty much all my life, but I kind of could start it my junior year. So about two, three years ago was kind of like um, the starter to me kind of realizing this is kind of what I want to do and really spend most of my time. Um, and so I'm getting my associates in digital media and I'm going to be transferring to get my bachelor's um, in animation. And I'm wanting to work with like Disney, Pixar, any kind of um, high, um, like Nickelodeon, anything along those lines. So it's kind of where I'm wanting to go. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Rachel, yeah. how about you? Hi. Same, yes. same question. So. Well, I'm a little different because I started later in life. I actually have never really done anything art-wise except uh, maybe being creative in my house, doing um, just different color paints on the walls. And But actually, after COVID started a year and a half ago, I decided to go back to school to finish my associates. And one of the things I wanted to do was try something new so here we are um, okay. now I got the scholarship and I'm super excited because I am actually going to help veterans in need in their families and now that um, I have found this new love for art I would like to utilize that to help with that okay that's a good good cause <laughs> Thank you. You're, <laughs> no, nothing I'm going to say about it. I hope you have a lot of success. Do you already have something lined up as far as a, a project or a veterans association or something that you're going to be working with? Yes, actually, my husband and I started a nonprofit called, um, it's VROC for short, but Veterans Recreational Outdoors Camp. And we have our 501c3 already, and it's up in it will be up in Wisconsin. Um, we still don't have a physical place to do it yet, but that is our plan in the next uh, few years. And so now I'm getting my, I would like to finish my degree in um, CTRS, which is Certified Therapeutic Recreation Specialist. And then I wanna specialize in like the art therapy area. Oh, well, that's great. Thank you. That's, okay. Uh, Let's go ahead and uh, Naya, uh, mm -hmm. I, I know the members sometimes wonder, okay, uh, we're giving these scholarships $500. Uh, what, what do you use that for? What do you have plans for it? Uh, is it going to be buying art, art supplies or books or what? Yeah, um, I'm probably just going to put it towards one of my art classes. Okay. Um, it's, um, especially since most of um, my classes I'm taking are it's just going to be 2D animation and 3D animation. So I won't be able to fit in any like, um, you know, like drawing, painting or anything like that, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to put it to that class um, for next fall. Okay. Um, yeah. Rachel? Well, for, for I sure do. Um, I uh, actually happen to have two of my children are in college as well, my husband as well, and then myself. So any little bit helps, and I will definitely be using it towards classes 
and art supplies and things okay. like that. Okay, well, let's let's talk about your your work that won you the scholarships here. Uh, first of all, I got to say that I was totally impressed with everyone in the in the, the student show, uh, and that's one reason why I love going through the uh, Wright Gallery when they have these types of shows. You just see the different types of artists, and especially when I look and and see someone that's either a, a mother who's sort of almost a second career type thing. And mm -hmm. Naya, a young person that is looking forward to an art career in, in animation, uh, it, it's always fascinating to me to listen to them and, and, and see what they're doing and why they do what they do. So uh, anyways, so let's take a look at uh, one piece. I'm going to start with Rachel. I'm going to start with yours. Okay. Okay. And we're going to switch over here. And nope, that is all, Naya's. That's, <laughs> that's Naya's. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. That's okay. Yes. Oh, I yes. All right, Naya. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Uh, this is the one that I wanted to start with. Uh, and uh, first of all, I, I I have to. I think I have to apologize because I don't know if I got the colors quite right when I uh, as I took the photograph and tried to match the colors to what I was seeing. But uh, can you tell us a little bit about how you created this? Yeah, so it was my final project for my last semester, and we were supposed to do an interpretation. Um, so I did an interpretation of a song called The Departure. It's like, um, it has no lyrics, so it's more instrumental. And um, the song kind of reminded me of, like nature and it was kind of chaotic at the same time so kind of I kind of wanted like like a beautiful scene but kind of like all these flowers and um, things growing kind of everywhere and um, kind of like a lost sense which is kind of came up with the butterflies across the eyes um, and just kind of just playing off on how um, I felt through that song. Um, I also added like clocks because in the piece, there's like in the very back, it's kind of hard to tell, but in the song, it has like this ticking sound. So I thought that was something I wanted to incorporate. But that was just kind of the main, I, um, how I kind of went about the piece through yeah. um, that interpretation. Yeah. Okay. What, I, what I'm curious about is, where did you come up with the uh, honeycomb pattern that you have running through this? Because that, to me, is a very digital thing. It's sort of like a sci-fi movie with the, you know, the Matrix, and you're seeing the the transparent background, or, as you would see on a computer screen. Yeah, when I was kind of doing thumbnail sketches, trying to figure out the composition. I had a hard time trying to figure out how I was going to fill up the space because I did want the space pretty much all filled. And um, originally I was thinking about like um, putting bees in and kind of having them fly around like um, my the portrait, um, but it didn't go the way I liked it. And then it just kind of formulated the idea of the honeycombs. And I kind of liked, I started experimenting and I kind of liked how it almost made like f extra framing and um, kind of uh, boxing in certain po points, kind of making more structure. Yeah, yeah I, I really it, enjoyed it. It feels <clears throat> to me like a, uh, uh, definitely a uh, reference to computers or holographic world or something like that. Uh, how long did it take you to do this? Because there's a lot, you've got a lot of detail on here. Yeah, it took me a lot of hours. Um, I'm not really good with time of figuring out how long I work on pieces, but it was no definitely, yeah, many hours um, yeah. that was put into it. Yeah, no one, it, no one really is good at that. Uh, I had one artist, yeah. digital artist, that I asked her how long it took, and she said, well, at one time I thought it was like, you know, 11 hours, but she was doing something that traced her time, 
and she went back and looked and it, she actually spent like close to like 20 hours on it you know so but this yeah, is yeah that's I, my problem <laughs> yeah yeah but it, it doesn't matter really it's it's really the end result that you got and it was uh, really impressed the judges uh so i i find it fascinating thank you so, okay now if i got these right i only have one other picture here so rachel this one has to be yours <laughs> hopefully yes okay. did i have it right okay you did <laughs> okay it, w any special inspiration for this picture actually yes there is um so my first project for my first time ever doing art um, i drew with graphite pencil my father's childhood piano and after he passed away i i came up with the piano so it's in my home and so i drew that piano and I gave it to my mom as a gift. Um, obviously, it was very special. So this actually was my final project for the semester. And I kind of wanted to come full circle and incorporate both into my final project. So mostly um, the music really inspired me. Um, my father was a composer uh, and my daughter, plays the clarinet and just started trying the saxophone. And so I was like, wow, how neat is that to um, combine, you know, something of my father's uh, work and then something my daughter loves as well. Yeah. And so that's now, what I came with. And I love the know, composition as well. <laughs> okay, not not knowing your, your, your main name, is this, is this a composition your father wrote? No, no, it oh, just okay. wasn't um, just a, uh, a music book that I had laying around. And then, uh, so, yeah, but uh, okay, that's now, what I love about it. Okay, I I love the way you did the the, uh, the saxophone and got that metal feel and everything for it. One question I've just got to ask is, how in the world did you do the music sheet back there? Because those lines <laughs> are just about perfect. The notes are perfect on it. Uh, you know, the, the, the trouble marks, everything. Uh, Thank you. Is, is that just, uh, is that just a lot of very really, uh, steady hand work? Is that what that is or? It, it sure is. Um, I, I found a new passion and love and I just put a lot of time into it and I enjoy it so much. It's brought me so much joy to draw and um, so yeah, this took, it was my final project. I had about a week to do it. So many hours during the evening and. Oh, wow. You, you did that so, week? I did. Yes. <laughs> that is amazing. Thank you. I'm very and, proud of it. And, and that is, I, I wouldn't be able to do that in a week. I, I do more photography and a little bit of digital art. So, uh, I've tried drawing and stuff before and, eh, I wasn't too bad about a long time ago, but uh, I just don't have the patience and I, I just can't imagine someone doing that fine of work and, and, and not only that, keeping the lines straight, the staffs are wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. But, and, and you know, that's just something that catches my eye. The overall composition though, I like it too. That's a very good composition. And like I say, just very good work. So. Thank you very much. So, okay. All right, back to us. Okay, so where are you guys going f uh, from this? Uh, Rachel, do you want to take that one first? Sure, yes. Um, well, we'll see how far I go, but I definitely um, am, am finishing my associates, um, hopefully the end of the fall semester, and then I would like to continue to be certified, like I said, in the therapeutic recreation specialist area. And if, if I can take it um, and all the time, I would love to do my master's for art therapy. Oh, 
Wow, that's great. So, I, it, uh, you know, it's never too late. So that's something I've learned that it's never yeah. too late to try something new. And this is where I'm at. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of uh, the lady. There's a uh, uh, professor up uh, late up in uh, Canada at a uh, college up there that she teaches uh, art therapy and everything. And she's also written some, as I think part of her PhD dis dissertation, uh, she pr produced this thing about, okay, how does art impact people and how do they learn? And I always thought that was fascinating uh, and how beneficial it is uh, because I also know that if you, the veterans, helping the veterans uh, is fantastic. Uh, if you ever have a chance to get another route, uh, there are also places like uh, uh, a safe place, which is a shelter for, for battered women, what have you. Uh, and okay. they use art to, as a therapy there, uh, as far as getting the children of these people and even the women working on it. Uh, but also just having the art there, it helps them, you know, get through their problems and what have you. So. Uh, that's I another love that. worthwhile thing. Yeah, yeah. My wife and our big supporters for them. So good. So, Naya, all right. We already heard a little bit about what you're planning on doing. You want to get into the animation with Disney or Pixar or what have you? Uh, you picked a couple of uh, very fantastic companies. I mean, I've watched some of their stuff. Uh, believe it or not, uh, some of those feature-length animations are some of the things my wife and I enjoy watching, you know. Yeah. So, and, and they're very good. I mean, I've, I've watched some stuff on the Disney uh, Disney Plus uh, streaming. So uh, what do you see? What's your path to getting in there? You, you have to finish, what, your associate's degree here? And then what happens after that? Yeah, so um, I decided to get my associates um, to and then transfer to a four-year university. Um, I just decided to get my associates just in case something happens. I don't lose any credits or anything like that. Yeah. So my classes I'm taking now will go to my um, bachelor's. Um, but just kind of working... Um, I've been kind of doing more um, learning fundamentals of landscaping, kind of doing character design lately, um, but that will continue further into once I transfer. Um, okay. Do you have a, a college it, in mind? Yeah, I do have a couple. Um, there's one in Savannah, Georgia, um, Savannah College of Art and Design, and then one in New York, um, School of Visual Arts. Okay, I've um, heard of that. Both, yeah. So, um, excited, but um, yeah, a little nervous. <laughs> so. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, I think if you don't do something that makes you a little nervous, you're not stretching. You know, you're not putting yourself out there. So, don't be afraid. I of agree. It. If it's a little nervous, you got to take a risk. Look at yeah. me doing these interview, interviews. And I, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing great. Each, each, each one is Thank a you. new experience with technology and what have you. So, but uh, at yeah. least I have some background to deal with it. But uh, yeah, that that sounds great. So, I don't have too much else. Do you guys have anything, Rachel? A, a final word for us? Um, sure. I just want to say how honored and humble I am that. I was able to uh, receive this award and scholarship, and I will put it to good use. Okay, that's well deserved, both of you. Naya, any Thank last you. words? Yeah, yeah. Um, just getting the award kind of was an eye opener, and just being at the event was kind of um, really good for me, kind of getting myself out there and kind of boosting my confidence. And um, I think that's like the strongest thing that came out of the scholarship was yeah. just kind of continuing to put myself and wanting me to push more um, to my where I want to go. Okay, good. Well, along with the scholarship, then yeah, I think you got the letter. You both are members of the Lake County Art League for for a year. Mm -hmm. 
free of charge. And uh, actually, uh, keep an eye on it because one of the advantages of that is that we've got uh, three, uh, one, two, three, four, four shows, actually five shows scheduled for the league. So any member that wants to submit work for it is fine. Uh, two of them are over at the Starline factory in Harvard, uh, which is a, a huge crowd, brings a lot of people in. We sell some work over there. Uh, we're going to have a league show in the Antioch Fine Art Gallery at the Antioch, Antioch Fine Art Foundation here in Antioch, obviously. Uh, and then we have our own member shows coming up uh, along with uh, some other events. So. Your members, and if you want to participate in those, you know you you will get some. I will make sure that you get the emails for them. You should already be on our email list. Okay, so that's another good thing. Thank it you. gives you a chance to get out there. So, see how people you. see your work and what have you. Uh, and I, I definitely love getting love getting people like you into the league and Rachel now in particular because of your animation your your digital work because we don't have enough of that uh, Rachel we have all sorts of well-known artists in the league that uh, we have demos on a regular basis uh, and just getting at the meeting and talking to them is always fascinating wonderful so, you, you can learn you can learn a lot and and you know like I say, you're welcome. You should be on our should be on the mailing list, uh, and I will check on that to make sure that you are. Okay. Right. So, again, congratulations and thank you for taking the time to do this little interview, so our members can see uh, what's happening with the scholarships. Thank you so, very much. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'll say good night then. Okay. Good night. Bye. <laughs>